Asprey of the NRA, Republicans and Democrats might be on the same page. Good morning, Aaron Katursky. McGraw, good morning. We'll see. I mean, there, there, there does seem to be a bit of soul searching in the country after the worst mass shooting the nation has seen and something we haven't seen in, in the wake of other recent mass shootings, and that is bipartisan dialogue about gun control, or at least this very specific accessory called a bump stock that effectively allows a semi-automatic rifle to fire at about the same pace as a machine gun. And the NRA said it's at least willing to entertain the notion of additional regulations, but not an outright ban. Well, why is the NRA doing this now when in other shootings, uh, the Orlando shooting, where they wanted, where the idea of the uh, banning people who are on the terrorist watch list, the NRA stood up against that. Why, why this? Why now? Well, I, I think, um, look, the, the, the notion of a bump stock caught a lot of people on Capitol Hill. Even some self-described gun owners uh, said they didn't know what it was, so it caught them off guard. And when they figured out that Stephen Paddock had modified his um, rifles with bump stocks, uh, you know, and that allowed him to fire between 400 and 800 rounds a minute, um, people said, what, 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 why do these things need to exist? Right. You know, the phrase we heard on Capitol Hill is lawful but awful. And so the NRA, um, you know, may be effectively giving cover to some of those Republicans by saying they're, they're willing to entertain the notion of, um, you know, of, of perhaps additional regulations, but they are not on board, according to Wayne LaPierre, who was on Fox News last night, uh, with banning them outright through legislation. Yeah. So what does he want to do if he doesn't want to ban them through legislation? Just sort of... Well, they could be regulated. You know, um, that one of the things that we don't know how many of them have been sold, because since they aren't regulated, as a consequence, no one can tell you right. how many there are. Um, you know, we know that in the last two days, uh, the price of an AR-15 bump stock jumped from $124 to more than $2,000. A uh, number of them are flying off the shelves, and other gun so store um, owners that we talked to said they're kind of keeping them back so that if the price goes up even more, they can take advantage. So wh why the prices are going up because they're now in demand? Because they're now in, uh, there's fear of them being either regulated or banned, and and we see this frequently whenever there's a concern about uh, about restrictions on any kind of gun sales. Stocks in, in gun companies go up because sales go up right. as people you know rush to buy before any perceived crackdown. It also probably has to be that a lot of people didn't know what this bump stock accessory was, and now that they do, they want it or they want part of it or whatever else, right? So well, that's that may be, be true. You know, a lot of the, um, uh, you know, a, a lot of people on Capitol Hill said they didn't know what it was, not that they want it. Others may have. Uh, you know, seen it and, and thought it looked intriguing. I mean, who knows? Right, yeah. I mean, kind of like the uh, white Bronco in the OJ chase, right? I mean, sales for the white Bronco went up to sort of get the latest and greatest. As morbid as that sounds with this bump stock thing, some yeah, people... Bad what my neighbor used to call Bruno Magley shoes, but <laughs> be that as it may. Aaron Katursky, have a good weekend. Thanks. You too, McGraw.